October has always been my favourite time of the year, ever since I was a kid, and I would choose Halloween over Christmas any day of the week. But this particular Halloween subjected me to something that I'll always remember. Admittedly, I was curious to experience the different types of customers beyond the regular Harry Potter fans, and people would always come to try our Halloween-themed pumpkin spice lattes that were only sold in October. I was excited about Halloween, but not about the extra workload, as my manager would always conveniently disappear and go on some kind of family trip. I expressed concern about not being able to attend the customers properly in his absence, but instead of hiring someone else to help me, he installed a bell at the door so I would always know when a customer is leaving or entering the lobby. He also recently installed a camera overlooking the lobby so I could keep an eye on things from his office if I ever needed. I still needed to be quick though, especially when getting supplies from the storage room, and the fact that I could never get a decent phone signal in there was just another reason not to be there any longer than necessary. It was already way past midnight, and it hadn't stopped raining since the afternoon, but even the rain didn't stop trick-or-treaters from showing up and asking for candy, and after seeing the last few customers leave, I turned off the lights and quickly headed to the office to fetch the keys so I could lock the door and start cleaning up the lobby. However, when I got to the office just down the hall, something on the monitor from the security camera caught my attention. It was someone dressed in a ghostly Halloween costume standing outside. My first and most obvious impression was that it was someone still trick-or-treating or on their way to a Halloween party and was simply taking shelter from the rain. The fact that it was Halloween night made it seem a lot less suspicious than usual, so I decided just to ignore it. However, in the short time it took me to grab the keys and glance back at the monitor, the stranger had moved closer to the front door. Being fully aware that the door was still unlocked definitely made me feel uneasy, but I didn't really have a reason to panic. But as I stepped out of the office, I heard the front door open and close. I felt overwhelmed with angst as I stared down the hallway while quietly retreating back to the office to check the monitor. Sure enough, the stranger was now inside the lobby. The overly optimistic side of me still wanted to believe that it was all just a Halloween prank, but my gut told me that I might actually be in some kind of danger. I left the office and entered the storage room because I knew that it was a much better hiding place. But not knowing where the intruder was left me feeling extremely vulnerable. So the only thing I could really do was wait as I acknowledged the faint sound of footsteps creeping down the hallway, getting louder with each step. I held my breath in anticipation as the footsteps came to a halt just outside the door. Then it got really quiet. At least until I heard the sound of the door handle slowly turn. The tension I was feeling at that moment is hard to describe. But eventually I heard the door handle turn again, followed by the same footsteps heading away from me, back towards the lobby. I'm not sure if the intruder saw me or not. But needless to say, I was relieved to hear the front door open and close. And with the keys to the front door still in my pocket, I didn't waste a second heading back to the lobby to lock the door. Despite what happened, I was still unsure about contacting the police, especially since it would have been impossible to identify who it was, and the cash register hadn't been tampered with. Perhaps it was just a prank and I just overreacted. At least that's what I thought until I replayed the footage from the camera and realized something that sent a cold chill down my spine. While hiding in the storage room, when I heard the doorbells, I assumed that the intruder had exited the lobby, but instead, what really happened is that the door had simply been opened and closed again, just to trick me into thinking I was safe and not locked inside with a complete stranger. I'm still not quite sure what caused the door to the office to suddenly slam shut like that, but it was enough to scare off whoever it was, and I still consider myself very lucky that I had decided to leave the keys in the front door, allowing the intruder to escape. 
It's been a year since then, and we still don't know who it was, but I haven't let the experience discourage me from enjoying Halloween, despite the fact that sharing this story has once again made that night seem just like yesterday. Thank you.